All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here. Check it out. So, <laughs> had a uh, trip out to Perlin, Texas, and guess who is from Perlin, Texas? Primary Arms. So what I wanted to do today was uh, give you guys a special tour of the Primary Arms operation here. So we're going to be doing a couple different things. We're going to go in and look at the front kiosk area, and then we're going to be doing a little behind the scenes to show you how they ship seven days a week. I know that sounds like a, a, a promo, but it is true. Seven days a week, they ship the same day, and uh, it's pretty incredible process. And what they've done and how they have developed in one of the, uh, the leading companies in the firearms industry in the country. So here we go, stand by. All right, guys, so one of the ways that Primary Arms works is that you can come into their storefront, as you can see right here, you can actually order from a little computer kiosk, and then all you do is you go over to the window, and you pick up your, your little product there. Now, another cool thing is that over there, they've got scratch and dent stuff, or stuff that's been returned. So anyway, good way to get some uh, highly reduced price stuff. So what we're gonna do, this is the uh, storefront, so now let's go in and I'll show you the behind the scenes how to inspect the optics and the shipping process. Here we go, stand by. It's fun when you're in a store and somebody recognizes you. I can't wait to show this to my wife. This is cool. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Isn't that cool? Thanks, Thank man. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Take care. Thank you. Get done with the tour. I'm coming back over here because this is a cool rack. And uh, I got some money to spend. Here we go. All right, guys, as many of you know, I am a huge fan of the Primary Arms Optics, partly, well, mostly because you got that great guy, Dimitri, over there, the Greek god himself who designs all the reticles. Well, one of the things that many people have asked is quality control. Right behind me, you guys didn't see this earlier, but there are about five or six people, and they open up every box, and they test every optic that comes out of this place. Look at this. Here are the a whole ton of Cyclops optics. One of my favorites over here. Well, there's more. It must be Cyclops Day. <laughs> well, anyway, you can see they have everything tagged. They have all the different checks and balances that quality control makes sure everything that goes out the door is up to spec. I wanted to show you guys what happens. They don't just ship these things straight from China or the Philippines or Japan. They actually do go through a quality control process and this is really, really cool stuff. Look at that. That's a whole mountain of joy right there, folks. All right, guys, one of the coolest parts about this, they do all their own photos. You look at that backlighting of the hair. Isn't that beautiful? There's Nathan, and there's Matt, and we're going to show you their little operation here. Anyway, <laughs> look at that cool light. Kind of looks like uh, KB32's Freedom Shack in the olden days. <laughs> anyway, I thought you guys would be interested in taking a look at this. These are the guys behind all the cool photos that you see online. It's pretty neat. Stand by for some more fun. All right, guys, so this is really cool behind the scenes thing. This is the shipping department right here. So when an order comes in, you get a bunch of people who run around with a cart and they draw from these shelving units right here and it goes directly to shipping. And we're gonna show you a real quick scene of how that looks because what happens is they get the order, it goes in, it ships the same day if the order is before what, 12 o'clock or, or four, four o'clock. And not only does it, you get the shipping, but it gets into the carrier's hands that day. Not just one of those things, well, a label's been created and then it sits in somebody's shop for three or four days until Monday, seven days a week, which sets these guys a lot apart. A lot of hard thinking or you sound right. Oh well, here we go. Alright guys, so look at this man. There's the conveyor belt. And you know the cool part about it, Primary Arms is not like one of those big monster companies where it has all the different tracks and everything, but everybody puts a hands-on approach on this thing. So let's go ahead and bring you on. And you can see the people are packing stuff up, boxing products. Today's Friday. So if you ordered a product today, 
it's being shipped right now. And you may even see your box online right here. So if you do, give me a thumbs up, let me know. It's pretty cool stuff. More boxes, more boxes. And then we got those air packs down here that my kids love because they make it go pow. So anyway, that's it. Things are boxed up, they're closed up, and they're shipped out the door, and that's where the boxes are being held for the carriers to pick up. The beauty behind Primary Arms is that they're big enough to make it happen, but they're small enough to make it personable. It's pretty cool. There's a full line site down there. Look at that. Isn't that cool? One of the coolest things that I have found when touring the Primary Arms office area is that not only do they believe in the Second Amendment, but by God, they live it. How many cubicles do you know where you're able to, uh, I don't know, keep your own AR in? How cool is that? Your name? Terrence. Terrence right here, and he is in charge of all those cool ads that send your blood pressure rising. Like, good God, how much credit do I have left on my credit card? <laughs> He's responsible for that. What do you got there, man? Uh, I built this last night. It's my new 6.5 Grendel. <laughs> it's dangerous being night. an employee here. Oh, my God. <laughs> has, is this not the coolest thing? I'm going to have to put in a, uh, uh, what do you call it, an uh, employment uh, at, well, no, I'd have to move it. Well, can I work remotely? <laughs> I do anyway. Anyway, how cool is that, man? We can work here and play with your guns at the same time. Anyway, we're going to show you some really cool stuff coming up about the customer service and that cool dude that handles all of it. If he can get back from lunch, where is this dude? All right, guys, so where I'm sitting right now is the famed customer service desk, and this is where it all happens. A gentleman named Mark, he's in charge of the customer service, but... We're gonna have this gentleman real quickly. He's gonna give you a run through. So there's a reason there is a workbench in the customer service area. And that's so that, well, they can check everything out that comes back for customer service. I think we can all agree. Not many people have had any issues with customer service. As a matter of fact, they pride themselves on top of the line customer service. And again, I'm just gonna show you a little bit of the desktop, but that's that's a hell of a I wish I had that set up. I could edit a lot of videos like that. And there's a whole lineup of all the items that are back for customer service, but they track it from get-go. So anyway, give us a real quick run through of what we got back here. Sure, so this is our sort of uh, war station. Uh, anytime we need to work with any sort of gun parts or need to do a build for one of our giveaways that we run every month, we have everything a gunsmith could need in all of these lovely drawers. So. Everything from Geisley barrel nut wrenches to the set of shims you need for this random muzzle device. We've got everything we need to make sure that it'll match it. And whenever someone has a question on if a receiver will fit another receiver, or if these parts are compatible, we have the ability to try all that stuff out so we can make sure we can get you a good answer. That's pretty cool. And I'm reading a little thing over here that says, do not say no. And how cool is that? And I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna show it to you, but it's get a manager or above to partner with you to find the right solution anytime you can't say yes to the customer. Those are words to live by. Good grief, I'm all messed up today. <laughs> well, anyway, I just wanna say thanks to everybody at Primary Arms, Dina, thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate everybody's time. And uh, man, what a great experience to see the behind the scenes of what makes Primary Arms happen. All the way down to the first guy, Marshall Lerner. His office is the first office you see. And everyone here is, are, are all professionals, and they work in a very professional manner, and it was absolutely outstanding. So anyway, guys, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the darn So uh, God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom is not free. Go to War 32. I'm out.